Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Toys R Us exclusive Black Panther 2 pack. Alright, so here we have Claw and Shuri out of the packaging. Um, they're pretty damn good figures, the articulation is great. Uh, of course it's reuse of previous bodies, we'll get into all that. Um, the colors came out really good, uh, Shuri's head looks freaking really good. Uh, but let's go ahead and just dive into it, start off with Claw. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with Claw. Um, he came out really clean, the paint, paint apps and everything are very clean. Uh, I like the burgundy red that his costume is. Uh, it's not that bright red that the original, the original one looks like. Came with one accessory, which is this pink effect right here, which we've gotten with previous Marvel Legends. All right, so having a closer look at Claw, the uh, the face and head came out really, really clean. Um, I like how the ear pieces kind of come out and the band that goes across his head is really clean. The eyes look really good. The paint on the mouth and the nose came out really good. Uh, let me see how close I can get in. Yeah, I'm really impressed by that paint job. The paint apps came out really, really great on him. Uh, the red burgundy in the costume looks really good in person. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking it up. Uh, the purple little underwear came out really good. The paint apps, uh, the wigglies came out really good. Um, his claw came out really clean. Uh, it's thicker than the original one was. Uh, has that little pointer at the end. Came out really good. I like this one better than the uh, the original look. Yeah, that head's super clean. I'm going down. It's red all the way. Alright, as far as his articulation goes, this is the same UK Spidey mold, so we could go left, right, up, very good, down really good, um, we got the butterfly joints, so that's good, um, swivel everything there, this swivels as well, and this also moves, I'm sure you could pop that off, um, wrist articulation is good, Legs go up that much, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ankle rockers, pivot. Really good articulation. So, so Paul's really got some really good articulation. i um, happy that they put him on this mold. And let's move on to Shuri. Alright, so here we have a Shuri. Uh, she came out really clean. Uh, honestly, she's worth buying this two pack. Uh, the head sculpt is really, really cool. It really looks like a Black Panther. Uh, I'll get a closer look at that. Uh, she came with that really cool cape that has like the wolf, the wolf fur over the shoulders. Um, she has that golden necklace that looks really cool, and she also came with that belt that I actually really like a lot. The belt adds a lot of features to it. Uh, she also came with a spear that comes with the red bands and gold beads that are on it, and the tip of it is also gold. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at her face. So her head came out really, really clean. I'm really impressed by the sharpness of it. The eyes came out really, really good. The nose looks great. Just the shape of it, the ears and everything like that. Turn it to the side, to the side a little bit, and it has kind of like a miniature Wolverine look to it. 
uh, the cape comes just kind of hangs on her shoulders, so there's no plug or anything like that. It just kind of flops on there. So that's pretty cool. The rest of her costume is pretty similar to the last Black Panther. She has the blue gloves and same design as the last one. But then you go down to her boots and it has more of a, um, more of like a bandage style that I really like and it's unique to her. So that just killed it for me. Also the purple cape looks really great on her. Really dope figure. Alright, here's a quick size comparison next to the Marvel Legend White Tiger. Um, and as you can see, she's a sh uh, Shuri is about a full foot and a half taller than her. Um, I'm a lot happier to have this figure than I am the White Tiger. So, that's that. And here's a quick look at the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Black Panther next to the Toys R Us exclusive Shuri. Uh, they pretty much go shoulder to shoulder, uh, ear to ear, if you will. <laughs> and if you wanted to see this comparison, here she is next to the MCU Black Panther. Uh, they pretty much go shoulder to shoulder. Looks really good next to each other, actually. And here's Claw next to the Walmart exclusive Marvel Legends Black Panther. Uh, they are really in scale with each other, uh, shoulder to shoulder once again, head to head. Uh, so I'm really happy about them scaling in with each other. And another quick comparison next to Zemo, uh, they're pretty much head in head, uh, I think they're the masters of evil, so that's a good comparison too. And if you were wondering, here's a comparison to the Marvel Legends Teenage Spider-Man. Uh, looks pretty appropriate, teenager next to an adult, scales right in with each other. Yeah, this figure is really dope, uh, after messing around with her for a while and taking some shots, she's a really cool figure. Um, the way she's articulated and everything, uh, she's very dope. Alright guys, I hope you liked my quick review of the Marvel Legends Toys R Us exclusive 2-pack of Claw and Shuri. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think of these figures and what I can improve on. Uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.